Hey guys, it's Katie with scrappinkatie.ctmh.com. I thought I would pop in and do a quick process video that um, I did over the weekend, and I'm just now getting around to editing. I am making a one-page layout using two of the soon-to-be-retired lines from Close to My Heart. This polka dot paper is from the Something Fierce paper packet, and it's really bright, fun, um, somewhat juvenile. It comes with dinosaurs um, for boys and girls. And then the star border that I really try to use, I'm going to end up not uh, using it, but it is from the I, um, I Heart Us paper packet. Um, I used, I just used the star thin cuts from Close to My Heart, which I believe those are retired. They might be in the clearance section um, of my website now. But right now I am just um, punching out some of the compliments that I think I want to use. And again, this one is from the Something Fierce. And you can see that cute little dinosaur right there. And I'm making this layout for the Heart to Heart Challenge this week, which is Weather or Not, and it's spelt W-E-A-T-H-E-R. So I am trying to pull everything that has to do with weather. So um, rainbow, stars, sun, palm trees, and then the picture I, pictures I'm using um, were outside. So those are kind of some fun details to add to this layout. So um, I have the I Heart Us cut apart sheet which is what you see underneath this little small workspace wonder caddy and I'm looking at it thinking I'm going to cut apart this rainbow or cut out this rainbow and what I love about the cut apart sheets from close to my heart you get two in each paper packet and then it each element has a already white border around the image which if you're a follower of mine, you know that when I fussy cut, I always leave a border. And so it's kind of already done for you. So I'm just sorting out all the elements that I've pulled. Again, some from the um, I Heart Us and the some from the Something Fierce. I know that the photos I'm going to use are three by four. So I've pulled out some photo place cards for those. And I'm just going to try to start laying this layout out. Um, again, I'm really trying to love that star border over there, which I do love and I really wanted to use. But like I said, in the end, I'm going to end up deleting it. Those photo mats need to be matted with a darker color. So I've just pulled some darker um, pewter cardstock and I'm trimming that to three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And what I like to do is I always want a white border around my photos. And so I don't ever print them like that. So I use Close to My Heart's photo place cards um, as that white mat. And then I just trim my photos. You'll see that here in a second. But I just trim it to um, 2 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And I'm just going to play with some placement here. Uh, the fun is chipboard, actually. And so that's real fun. And then some, there's some other elements that are chipboard. And then there's some that are just the cut apart sheet. So I love that that's going to add dimension to this layout as well. As you can see, I've realized that that star border sheet's not going to go over there to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere my white photo place cards down to my pewter mats. And see if I can force this star background. And finally, I'm like, yeah, I can't do it. So now I'm just going to adhere some things down. I really, um, even though I love white space, I need it to be broken up with some color. So I'm going to take our mint shimmer brush and flick it. It creates a paint splatter, but um, as you can see, it is not noticeable at all. So then I ended up pulling out our black shimmer brush and added some paint splatter to that. Right here, I'm just trimming off. Um, our complements come on, our chipboard com complements come on a carrier sheet, I guess you would say. And so you kind of have to punch them out. So of course, they are left with a little bit of tabs on them, and that's what kept them nice and neat as they were shipped. But I like to trim those off. So I just use my micro tip scissors. Um, I also have a set of files that Close to My Heart used to carry. Um, and I file those down or cut them off. So all the elements I think I might use, I'm just trimming those down. Then I adhere that white piece and then my triangle down. 
and then I'm going to once again lay out all my pieces. I don't know about you, but sometimes I even take pictures of the way my elements, uh, my embellishments are. And that way, it's, sometimes it's easier to look at the picture and decide how I want it um, actually adhered. So again, I took, there's a scalloped border on the sticker uh, compliment sheet for I Heart Us. And I think I, I, I really like how it just breaks up that white polka dot with the white base. Um, of course, a diagonal, um, you're not going, it's longer than 12 inches. And so I had to cut that apart, but good thing I have those photo mats to hide where I cut it apart. And I have that little word bubble by that palm tree. And I really wanted that little journaling circle from the Something Fierce compliments to be my son. But then I remembered that I Heart Us actually has a son. So I'm going to cut that out again. Um, I just fussy cut along that little white edge and then that way I just think it 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 appears to be neater. If you try to cut exactly um, around the image, too, too much of the um, imperfections show up in my opinion. So I, I know I have a star. I know I have stars and a sun, but I just think that, you know, um, number one, we're at a baseball game. That won't be apparent by these pictures, but once I add my journaling, it will be apparent. Um, and so, you know, I've got my son who is, in our eyes, the star player. Plus, you know, at night, stars have to do with weather. Um, you know, if it's cloudy, you can't see the stars. If it's a bright summer night, you can. So I'm just trying to adhere down um, some other elements. I'm going to have the fun right there. And then I'm just using our tape runner for all the cut aparts. And then anything that's chipboard, I like to use our liquid glass. Here I'm just taking a journaling pen and drawing lines and arrows all around the edge. And again, liquid glass to adhere down those chipboard pieces. And then the fun is going to go there. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to add um, a subtitle like fun in the sun somewhere. And even my finished layout um, that you'll see here in a second doesn't have it. I'm just adding some more stars from the Something Fierce compliment sticker sheet. And then last, I'm going to add some sequins. And so... These sequins are from the I Heart Us, and so I'm going to have a grouping of three of the yellow up near this predominantly yellow corner up here. And then there's some real pretty blue. It's kind of like a greenish blue. I'm going to adhere three in that little grouping. And then there's some iridescent pink, and I'm going to use those down by that star. And that's it. Thanks for stopping by.